Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Least Thousand Years Blood War episode, uh, the separation, episode number three reaction. So the previous episode, what happened was we got to see the captains, like two of the captains, Soifon and Hitsugaya and, uh, and Rangu was also there, them fighting against two of the stern Richters. And uh, over there, Hashwald was kind of going, like, you know, confronting uh, Kyoraku as well. So, you know, like the battle kind of started. What happened was at the beginning, it seemed as if everything was going for the captain's favor. However, by the end of it, things kind of take a back turn where we actually get to see the Stern Ritter's power. It was also revealed in the previous episode by Hashwald how they were here in the Serete. They were always here. They were in the shadows, just there waiting. And for these thousand years, just increasing and gaining more power so that they can come out. And now it's time they are out. So these things happened over there. Hitsugaya got pretty critically damaged. So is Soifon. So and in the end, we get to that scene where they say like, oh, the uh, the life force signal is gone or something. So don't know what's going to happen over there. While, uh, yeah, I'm guessing Hashwat is probably going to start fighting against uh, uh, Kyoraku. So let's see what happens in this episode. This is episode number three. Let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Post invasion, all right. Excuse me. Oh boy. Yeah. Station. Oh yeah, this guy came in, I forgot. This guy, who... The one... Sound to. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? What the hell is going on? I iron Oh Yeah Oh yeah, Urahara did contact him talking about how to get the Bankai back. Right, so how? Fundamental violence. Oh.
Hmm. Right, let's see what Urha has to say. Hmm. Weakness. Prevent them. Oh, okay, so there you go. Both. All right. Oh, my is like, oh, why didn't I get it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Come on, Mary. Yo, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, we, he did say that he... Exactly. <laughs> well, at this point he has to say yes. Because, you know, Urahara said like, yeah, you did make that, so... Right. Fail. What? Oh, is this the... Is the okay, okay. Preventing bank Oh, is he going to use? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Power of that holy shit. Of the captain's candy. Oh, wait, are they going to like? Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, so they cannot because they cannot. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's also another right, all right. Hmm. Disadvantages. Okay, so... These tablets or these pills... Okay, nice. <laughs> oh whoa fast the delivery speed oh nice so uh, hopefully um oh there you go yeah i was gonna, just gonna say that he's gonna can grab that Ah, it's because it's disadvantages to them. 
No, it's not because of that. Yeah, there you go. Because they are a threat to them. Yeah. Okay, interesting. That makes sense. No antibody against hollows. Wow, so, uh, uh, like, the Arankas and the Vizards will actually be more advantageous in this fight, then. Yes, here we go! Bank, Hollow Fire Bankai, yes. Right, alright, that guy has, yeah, that guy has unleashed his Bankai, and now he's going to, there you go. Well, you're screwed. There we go. Well, got back what was his. Oh, is this iPhone? Yep. Okay, this. Oh. No, no, I, I think Omada got that pill, so he's going to use it on Soyphon. There you go. Yes. Uh, why? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Noni. <laughs> yep. There we go. The bazooka. Ooh, this is gonna hit hard. If it hits him, oh it hit him, okay there you go, bam. Right, I don't think this will be enough to defeat him, but still it will be at least enough to kind of endanger him, nice. <laughs> yep. Um... All right, you, you guys don't know anything. All right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, wow. Whoa, wait, we're actually hearing Hyorinmaru's voice. I think we heard it before as well in, in the original Bleach. I forgot just. Oh, that's why it's like a mask. That's cool. Ooh! And here's the thing. His guy actually trained to make his Shikai as strong as the Bankai. So his Bankai is even stronger now. And it's, it's holified as well, so it increases the power even more. Wait, did he actually get defeated? Oh my god, that's actually embarrassing. Or maybe not, I'm, I'm sure he'll come out. Maybe not. Oh no, no, he's gonna come out. Oh boy, we need a medic here. The hell is that? Who was that? Oh wow, wait, they actually defeated them. That's interesting. 
Nice, so the bank guys are gone. Thank God. One thing... Yeah. Oh, did he get his... Yep. Wait, is he going to... <laughs> Flip it, okay. Because, yeah, his Shikai is literally... Oh, wait! We're seeing his Bankai. Okay, I don't... What the? Oh, it flips it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Literally flips it. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> that is a crazy ability. <laughs> Damn. And also because there's too many of them, he was able to use it properly. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hal. Yeah. What? Oh no 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 Oh my god this guy's here Yeah Undercard boys <laughs> Wow <laughs> Wow who the hell? James? Damn. Yo. <laughs> yeah, use your bankai. <laughs> Wait, where is... um? What's the other guy's name? I always forget his name. Oh, there he is. Oh, these girls. Damn! Yeah. Whoa. Wait, they just left? Okay. Yeah. Throwing a tantrum. Oh, she's a leader. Oh, Komamura's here. Ooh. Oh, he just put his mask on. Buck. <laughs> Oh. Wait. He he got his bankai back, didn't he? Oh, Shinji's here. Okay. Let my do. Uh, yeah, he is messing with her perception of. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, that's okay. That's why it's actually. Wow. Oh, it's, it's going. Mm. Damn, even it's worse. Oh, he's going, she's going to unleash. Damn. This is a really crazy power, you know, like making everything reverse. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh! Oh, nice! Why are they not using his, their Bankai? Oh, wait, the, oh, they actually dealt damage. Oh, no. Was that like a, some kind of a limiter? Oh, no. Whoa, what the? Oh, I think it's some kind of a limiter. Oh. oh. So all the. So all the others is going to be okay. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, it seemed too easy, you know. Wow. All right. Mm. Is that okay? Wait, there's still something. Oh, this is Ichigo's um training. Okay. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Yeah. We saw in the previous ep. Whoa! What is the huh? Okay. Whoa! What? Wait, is that a spirit game? 
I think so. Oh. It's going on those fights, isn't it? Hmm. All right, that is it. Right, that was episode number three of Bleach, uh, Calvinia's Blood War <clears throat> separation. <clears throat> okay, so in the beginning, we we see everyone like you know like all the like Serete is in complete chaos. Um, people are like fighting, like you know, all these Shinigamis they're trying to fight while the screen sheets are like attacking, and uh, you know, like the whole situation with Hitsugaya, the whole situation with Soifon, everything is like really bad. And uh, then we get to see Busby actually uh, gives this guy a chance to attack, you know, like because this guy I, I forgot his name, the guy who took uh, Hitsugaya's bankai. He's like, oh, the majesty told us that the person who took the captain's bankai, they will be the one dealing the final blow to them. So that is why you go away from here, Basuki. And you, you can see that this guy also had Masumoto with her, him, and he like, like you know, like gives Mas like throws Masumoto there on the ground as well. And yeah, Basuki like leaves. Right. So okay. Wait, I think he introduces himself. Where is that part where he introduces himself? I, here we go. Sternwitter I. Can't, wait, what? What was his name? Just a minute. Tan Tu. The Iron. Okay, so he, he's like, right, so I'm the one who took your Bankai. I will be the one dealing you your final blow. So he unleashes Yorin Maru and he's ready to attack and kill both of them and then we kind of cut to uh, you know Kurosuchi Mayuri's like you know situation so Mayuri here obviously got contacted by Urahara and Urahara's like oh I've got uh, I've got a, a technique uh, to get back the Bankai so <laughs> well we obviously know like <laughs> Mayuri doesn't have a good like you know relationship with Urahara <laughs> he's like quickly tell me what, what do you want to say and uh, he says that there is something that I can do to trigger the weakness of the Quinchies, which is going to prevent them from stealing our Bankai. Also, it's going to revert the bank Bankai and it give it back to all of the people, uh, like, you know, like Shinigami, who it has been stolen from. So that is what I was able to do. And everyone's like, oh, amazing, like, you know, Sasuka, Sasuka Urahara. And Mayur is like, hmm, okay. <laughs> And he's like, oh, that's a wonderful discovery, but, um, you know, like, you, you placed a communication device on my assistant. I don't like that, so I'm going to hang up immediately. And he hangs up, and Uhara just pops up from the from back, and he's like, ah, just kidding, I, I, I knew you were going to do that, so I'm already here. So, he says that I need cooperation from you, Mayuri, and uh, Mayuri's like, oh, you can see the whole R&D department is just completely gone, so what can I do here? And I love the way Urahara kind of like, I guess you could say butters him up. He's like, oh no, that's not the situation. You can like, you know, obviously like because of your like, you know, like amazing um, contribution, you can see you, you made this place which doesn't have any shadow. So we can do it there, you know, like that, like obviously you're the one who made it. So I'm pretty sure that will work perfectly. Like I said, he, he kind of butters him up a little bit. And obviously, in, in this situation, if Mayuri's like kind of still stays stubborn and he's like, oh no, I'm not going to do that, it's going to reflect badly or probably it's going to put into question the, like, you know, his own, like, you know, like, the, like the, that, that room, he's the one who made it. So it's going to <laughs> bring into question the, um, what's that word, uh, the capability of something that he made. So in both ways, he wasn't able to say much. He's like, okay, all right, whatever. So <laughs> and Urahara's like, can I count you on you for help? So he's like, all right, let's go. And so they go in and start the whole, um, you know, like, uh, op like whole, whole operation on seeing what's going on and everything. And uh, Kaizochu insects, they kind of like, you know, like, kind of like 
unleash everywhere. And they can see that the, the whole connection is not really still going. However, uh, Archon and everyone else still keep trying to establish connection. While they're trying and doing their best, uh, Urahara brings up what they are supposed to do in this situation. So, he has a few pills. Shinye Yaku, that's what they're called. So, right, so he here gives us an explanation into the workings of this tablet. So, as he says, that this is something that, right, so, okay, I'm going to read this, like, you know, step by step, because he, he actually gives us a proper explanation. First of all, he says that the captain's bankai has been stolen, so I decided to remain here and, uh, you know, like, kind of do more research and see what's going on. And he says, I saw with my own eyes the clue to preventing Bankai from being stolen while I was there. So he remembers, um, what was the name of that guy? The, the, the J guy. Quil oh, here we go. Uh, Quil J Opia, this guy. Yeah. So the turning point of the battle was after he consumed a hollow. You know, like when he consumed that uh, big, big one, that big hollow. What was the name? Uh... I forgot his name. You know, the, the, the three, those three girls, uh, Milaros, uh, those three, the, the one that they brought in. Uh, something with A, I forgot the name. Anyways, um, so yeah, after he consumed that, his appearance crumbled at the moment he absorbed the, the hollow. Okay, realized that he wasn't able to completely control his power. Interesting. So at that moment when I was watching that episode, I didn't realize that. I thought he deliberately like, you know, kind of consumed it. But uh, obviously, as uh, since Urahara is saying here that hollows are actually harmful for them, so I'm guessing he was desperate to consume it because if he didn't consume it, he probably himself would have been in trouble. That is why he, 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 he had to consume it, consume the hollow, even though uh, it, it's literal poison for him. Otherwise, he would have been in trouble, I guess. Either way, mm, so he says that, uh, I, I kind of saw that, and he says that, um, Okay, he wasn't able to completely control his power, right. I'm sure you know Captain Kurosuchi. When an Arankar's resurrection, the power of the soul is shaped into a sword and released to obtain greater powers, you could say this is skill is nearly identical to a Bankai, yeah. If the Bankai, the captains can be stolen, the same should appear to the resurrection. However, not a single Arankar had their resurrection stolen. So yeah, Uraha is correct, you know, like we got to see previously that like a lot of the Arankars were captured, you know, like um, Haribel, I think, yeah, she was also captured, like everyone was captured, like the, those girls, those, those three girls, the trio, they were also captured, uh, Mino Lee and, uh, 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 I forgot the name, the other girl, Lori and Milori, I think, something like that, they were also captured, like a lot of the Arankars, a lot of the, they were captured. So they, they didn't really, really take their powers. So, right, so Urahara says here that up until now, like, you know, like, oh no, wait, he doesn't say everything completely. Mayuri continues from him. Mayuri says that, so it's two things. Either they cannot or it would be disadvantageous for them. So, yeah, so Mayuri says like if a Bankai can be stolen, a resurrection can also be stolen. So the cannot reason is out. So it's disadvantageous to them. Now here he brings up a very interesting point which I, I think like nobody really thought about. Like up until now I'm pretty sure everyone thought that oh the reason why they fight against the Hollows are because they hate the Hollows. You know like they, they don't like their existence, they would want them to, like want to defeat them completely. Yeah, but yeah, that might be one of the reasons, but there's another reason behind it. Hollows are actually the natural enemies. They're like completely opposite to them and they're like actually harmful for them. So Mayuri says that here, where is that part? Mm -hmm. Just a minute. The logical is disadvantageous. Right, here we go. Hostility stems from a difference in ideology. It is impossible to continue hating those who do not have a will or ideology. True. You know, hollows, what, what type of ideology do they have? No, but I guess I, like, up until now, at least what I thought was that the reason Queen Sheets hate hollows is because hollows are a literal problem. You know, even though they don't have an ideology, hollows are a problem, aren't they? Like, for, like, the, 
the souls and everyone, like, you know, they, they, they were a literal problem. So I thought that that was the reason why the Kunishis hated Hollows. Yeah, that definitely must be part of the reason, but there was another part to that reason as well, which was that, um, yeah, Hollows were like the natural poison for them. And I feel like a lot of the Quinchies themselves probably didn't know this unless until they're like the top Quinchies. Because, you know, like, like I, I'm trying to think here. Like, think about the Quinchies who are not really at the top, who are just Quinchies, normal Quinchies. Do they also know that they have like a... Who, I'm, I'm not really sure about that because I never got that feeling from... Like, we saw a lot of Quinchies in Bleach. I never got that idea that they knew that Hollows were actually poison to them. Like, they genuinely, it genuinely seemed they hated Hollows. For example, Ishida. Ishida f actually fought Hollows because he hated them. And, like, everyone hates Hollows because they're an actual problem. You know, while, like, you know, obviously the Shinigami's ideology is a little bit different. They, they like, you know, like, they don't kill or destroy Hollows completely, unlike the Quinches, the witch who actually completely destroy the Hollows. That is the difference in their ideology. However, up until now, I, I at least I thought that uh, the Quinchies actually like didn't like Hollows because they were Hollows, you know, they're an actual problem. But yeah, like I, I don't know, I'm, I'm still not like, you know, 100% sure, but I feel like at least that the Quinchies who were not in the higher ups, at least, you know, they didn't know about this maybe. Or I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing here because never ever did I get this idea watching Ishida fight against the Hollows that Ishida knew that Hollows are an actual poison to them. Ishida just, just fought them because he hated them. That's the impression I got. So I don't know if everyone knows about this information. Even the Shinigamis didn't know about it. Like Mayuri is actually deducing it now, Mayuri and Urahara. So there you go. So unless or until it's like the higher up or the top ones, like Yuahabaha, maybe the Stern Richters, they are the ones who probably knows about this, not the others. I'm not really sure. This is just a guess, I'm guessing. Right, anyways, uh, enough of that. So, Mayuri says, it's a fundamental fear of that which endangers your life. Right. Uh, yeah, Urha says precisely, Quinches are a breed that has no antibody against the hollows. Uh, the very existence of hollows are poisonous to Quinches. There you go. Enroachment by the Hollows not only weakens their spiritual power, but ultimately leads to a decay of their souls and eventually their death. Unlike Shinigamis, they don't have a path to Hollowfication. There you go. That is why Quinchis must exterminate Hollows. Yeah. In, okay, there you go. So obviously he said, in other words, if you absorb a small amount of Hollow power, Hollow power will get transferred to the Bankai. The Bankai that is within the Quinchis now. It will become a poison to them. Right, I see. So, so yeah, it, it kind of makes, like, you know, like, I, you can kind of understand now. So, Arankas are, like, actually at an advantage in this situation. You know, especially against Queen Sheets. Arankar and Vice Arts. You know, and, and Ichigo. <laughs> because, you know, Ichigo is, like, literally everything at the same time. <laughs> right, he's Shinigami, he's Queen Shi, he's Hollow, he's, like, everything. <laughs> right. Uh... Okay, so after that, uh, like, and here obviously in this situation, I just, like, I was thinking, like, how are they going to do this? Because Hisuga is almost dying. How are they going to send it to Hisugaya? <laughs> and I don't know what happened here, but we see that immediately one of the tablets has gone to the, to the captains. So, like, each tablet, like, has gone to the captains, and Hisugaya has that. This guy absorbs it and uh, yeah, like it becomes a poison, his bankai becomes poison to this guy, to the eye guy, I, the iron guy, I, I forgot his name. Uh, so yeah, it, it like breaks apart kind of like, you know, like the one part of the, the, the bankai and his guy gets partially his bankai back. Right, while over there in Soifon situation, Omaeda saves Soifon. And uh, gives Soifon the tablet, and yeah, Soifon also gains back the ability, Bankai ability, and yeah, he she unleashes her um, Bankai, uh, Jakuho Raikoben. Yep, obviously it's like a literal nuke, so <laughs> she unleashes it, and bam. So over there you can see this guy fighting against uh, Hisugaya, and 
<laughs> I love how for a moment he's like, oh, what are you even talking about? Bankais don't have a soul. Like, Bankais don't have thoughts. Like, what are you saying? And he's like, yeah, is that what you think? All right. Um, and you can see, actually hear Hyorinmaru's voice here, you know, for a moment. So, yeah, um, and you can see that Hisugaya is like, you know, like the, the, the eyes kind of became like a mask kind of thing because obviously it is like, you know, like a, a holofying bankai. So, there you go, that is why. So, you can see that in, within, like, you know, like no wasting any more time, Hisugaya unleashes his power to completely encase this guy in ice. Now, here's the thing. Um, obviously, the you know like the reason why he was able to unleash this amount of power is because Hisugaya, like he said, he was training for his Shikai to be as strong as Bankai. And if his Shikai was able to gain that amount of power, imagine how his, strong his Bankai is. So the, the fact that we were able to get our Bankai back completely, and not only that, it was it's kind of hollowed, so that it's going to, it's going to be a little bit more stronger than the original Bankai, I'm guessing. That is like a huge thing, you know, like not only can't the enemy use the Bankai against us, but also, you know, like they, like, you know, like that the Bankai has been upgraded and it, it is, we can actually use it now. So I think now the battle is a lot more, um, what do you call it, like a level, you know, a lot more uh, on level ground. Because up until now, what was happening was the Queen Shis, they took their Bankai and was using it against them. So obviously the captains were weaker. But now the captains got their Bankai back. But obviously, like, you know, we could see that using their Bankai, qualified Bankai, they could easily defeat the Sternritters. But the reason why I'm saying it's uh, on a level ground now is because later on we get to see as Yuahabaha kind of unleashes that, I, I think he mentioned the name, I forgot, unleash that. And the, the, What's their name? Uh, the Sternlitters, they kind of said that, oh, up until now the Bankai was actually preventing us from using this. That's why I'm saying it's a more on level ground now. Now, now the captains can use their Bankai, a holofied Bankai, while the Queenshees can now use their ultimate power. So it's more on a level ground now. Now we will have like a proper battle. Up until now it was like too one sided. So that's good, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so all the bankai has been taken back, and Yahabaha is kind of looking at everything. And uh, right, so here we see Shinji says they're waiting. Uh, there's like a lot of the uh, Queen Shis trying to fight and like you know attacking the Shinigamis. So uh, Shinji is like, all right, so you know what? Um, I'm going to use my bankai now. And he's like, since none of my comrades are here, they're all like they're here, but they're all unconscious. I can actually use it now, which kind of makes sense because this thing literally twists everything. Like enemies and allies are kind of like, you know, like, like completely replaced and it's kind of like, you know, like reversed. So if his allies were there, their allies would also fight against each other and both the team would take each other out. That would happen. But the allies are all down. So it's perfect situation to use this because obviously Shinji is the one who's using it. So he's not affected by it. He can see what's going on, but there's only enemies in front of him. So this is a Bankai which is actually, uh, I guess you could say, uh, powerful in a situation where you're outnumbered and there isn't any ally who's helping you out. You're alone and you're outnumbered, perfect situation to use this Bankai. And uh, I think like using this Bankai, you can literally defeat almost anyone unless and until they have an immunity for it. I feel like you can literally defeat anyone. Like just, just. Nah, but there'll be one problem. If, like I said, there at least needs to be two characters. You know, if, there, if it's like solo battle, one versus one, then I don't know if you can properly use this Bankai. You probably cannot. I don't know. I don't know how, what's going to happen then. Because, no, because his Shikai is something different. His Shikai is something that makes the whole situation, like everything kind of upside down and makes like the situation like that. However, his Bankai is something that reverse the enemies and allies. So his Bankai isn't really, cannot really be used in a situation when it's one versus one, I think. Okay, let me just read this part. He, he explains his Bankai over here. Let me read. Um, I'm going to flip it all upside down for ya. And okay, what's the name of this Bankai? Bankai, uh, Sakashima Yokoshima Hapo Fusagari. Oh, I think, uh, Sakashima, I think Sakashima means, 
upside down or something? I don't know. And Yokushima also kind of means that, I think. Like, like the reverse. Right, anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Queen Shih says shoot their arrows towards him, but they just pierces their own heads. So, yeah, that is his Bankai's power. He explains it here. Let me read this. Reversing your recognition of enemy and ally and making you attack your own side, that is what my Bankai, Sakashima Yokoshima Hapo Fusagari can do. No, wait, I think I, you can also kind of manipulate this to, even if you have like allies with you, I think you can manipulate this, that as well to keep your allies safe as well. Just tell your allies that when I use my Bankai, just stay still, don't do anything. Like, don't attack anyone. Like, the person you will think is your enemy, you know, is actually your ally. So, don't do anything. And, I know, you know what, what is better? I feel like if you tell your allies that, alright, I'm going to use my Bankai, when I use my Bankai, what you do is you attack your allies. Well, obviously, that would mean you're attacking your enemies. Like, won't that work? I guess that can work. But obviously, to the enemies who don't know what's going on, for them, yeah, it's, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I, I feel like once you get to know the trick of this Bankai, you can actually kind of kind of manipulate it, can't you? Because if the enemies knew what this Bankai does, they what they could do is like literally attack each other while in the influence of Bankai and they would be actually attacking their enemies. You know, instead of attacking their allies, they try to attack Shinji, that's why they attack themselves. So what they do during this Bankai, if they knew what was going on, they could just attack each other so that they could actually attack Shinji. Like, won't that work? Yeah, like, I think, like, this Bankai actually, like, it, it kind of, it depends. If, if the enemy knows what this is, then I feel like it's, it's a bit of a problem, you know, like, so the, the, the surprise, like, the, 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 what do you call it? The, the secret, the, the more the Bankai is kept secret, the more you can properly use this one. And it can be used to take down very strong characters as well, I feel like. Okay. Okay, here we go. Sakashima Yokoshima, Hapo Fusagari. Uh, that's what it can do. Unfortunately, enemies and allies are mixed up. You say they currently. So I cannot really use it. Yeah, whenever I want. There you go. Right. So he was able to use it here. Now, next we get to see Madarame and uh, uh, Yumichika. Yeah, for a moment I forgot his name. Uh, is there, they also got their Bankai back, while there's this guy, oh, I always forget his name, oh god, I don't know why, like, you know what the funny thing is, I know his <laughs> Zampakto's name, however, I always forget his name, his Zampakto's name is Kazeshini, isn't it, I think so, but I always forget his name, I don't know why, like, I cannot remember his name at all, you know what, let me check, what is his name, like, I'm pretty sure his banka, uh, his uh, Zampakto's name is Kazeshini, something like that but i cannot remember his name like every time i remember i i just forget immediately i don't know why it's such a problem hisagi there you go shuhei shuhei hisagi right okay so shuhei he 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 also comes here and he's like kind of joins them for a moment uh right and then after that in comes this dude <laughs> And he, <laughs> he's like, not bad for undercard boys. And I'm like, wow, that is actually, that is actually an insult <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> right. And he's like, oh, let's do a three versus one death match. And they start fighting, you know, and both Yumichika and Ikaku attacks him. And he like grabs them by both of his hand. And uh, <clears throat> while over there, Shuhei uses his Zampakto to grab him using the chain, while all of this is happening, over there Bambietta and the other girls, they are on their way, and Bambietta sees like the Bankai is gone, so she just throws it away, and it hits like a few of the other Shinigamis, and then he, she suddenly realizes that everyone's gone. Now, I think what happened here was, this was because it was Shinji's Bankai was used, wasn't it? Uh, sorry, Shikai was used here, wasn't it? Like, like, otherwise it doesn't make sense why suddenly everyone vanished. I think what happened here was like Shinji used his power, and that's why everyone, since everything is reversed, they thought they were going along with Bambietta, but what happened was they were actually going in opposite directions. So they actually left, and Bambietta was like all alone. 
I think that is what happened. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was because of Shinji's Shikai that that happened, actually. Like, everyone just left, and she was, like, all alone standing there. I don't know. This is just a guess. Either way, um, she's, like, pissed off. She's like, what the hell is this? I, was I just talking to myself up until now? You know, like, and, and she, she, she wants to meet Komamura again, wants to fight her him again. And, and she gets mad because all the girls are, have gone. So she, like, unleashes her power. She's, like, screaming. She's like, so show yourself. And uh, then Komamura comes in. And Komamura's like, has like the, the mask, the, the armor and everything. And he's like, I'm sorry, but I don't have time to fight you. I need to get to Yahabaha and fight him. However, Bambieta's not happy about it. Bambieta's like, oh, like, no, but you still came here because you wanted to save your comrades. So it's a troublesome situation. You know, Komamura just wants to leave, but Bambieta's not going to let him leave. So what to do in this situation? Obviously, Shinji is here. So Shinji is like, not to worry, Kobamura. You go on ahead. Let me take care of this. <laughs> and uh, so Bambiata versus Shinji starts, you know, like the battle starts. And uh, Shinji actually rattles Bambiata completely using his power. And like everything is like reverse. And she's like going in one direction and she's seeing that Shinji is not there. Shinji is behind her. And it's like rattling her. her. And it should be pretty nauseous as well. Like, imagine everyone get everything getting completely reversed. You'll be nauseous as hell. And not only that, um, <laughs> this is crazy when Shinji says that I also have, like, you know, learned or practiced in talking in reverse. So she was actually talking in reverse so that Bambiata could understand what he was saying. Like, his voice also became reversed. Everything is reversed. <laughs> wow. I have been practicing to have words sound backwards too. Yeah, so this is crazy. And then after that, you can see that Shinji actually probably starts stops talking in reverse. He, he probably starts talking normally. So he, now his sounds are getting reversed. And she starts every, everything, hearing everything in reverse now. So, yeah, so here you can see that Bambiata uses her power to attack. But yeah, everything is reversed. She, she cannot get him. Right, so while all that has, is happening, those uh, like an you know, Madarame, uh, sorry, Ikkaku and Madarame are the same. Ikkaku, Yumichika, and uh, Shuhei, all of them are fighting this guy, and uh, you know, like Shuhei kind of was able to grab him using the chain, while Ikkaku and Yumichika was able to deal a few damages. Right, so while all of this is happening, you can see that Yahaba is sitting. Ishida standing and Yahabaha's like, right, so yeah, they got their Bankai back, unfortunate. But at the same time, this is going to work against them now. So yeah, for a moment, I thought it was like a limiter that triggered. Kind of thought like it was like the Shinigamis, how they have this, uh, I forgot the name of that, uh, the limiter that they have whenever they go back to go to the human world. What is it called? Um, I forgot. Anyways, whatever. Uh, you know, like that one. I thought it was something like that. Uh, turns out it's not something like that. It's a little bit different. It's just that a power that they won't able to use because they had the Bankai with them. So, uh, yeah, Yahabaha says, Rejoice, Stern Richters. Um, yeah, and everyone who was in trouble up until now, so they start glowing and like a light start popping off. And there's like a ringing of a bell. So, Queen Shivol's stern dish. So, there you go. They cannot use it because they had the Bankai, but now that the Bankai is out of the way, they are actually regaining this power gap back. So, Yahabaha says that you shall regret regaining your Bankai power. So, Reapers. Right, so everyone has unleashed it and. Yeah, so that is why I said they're like an equal ground now, like level ground. Because up until now, the Shinigamis weren't able to use their Bankai. But now that they can use their Bankai, they were getting a little bit stronger and they were like actually kind of defeating the, the Sternritters. But now that the Sternritter can use their power, they're more on a level ground now. So from the next episode onwards, we'll actually have like a, like a, like a proper fight. It won't be like very heavily uh, advantageous to one. Both of them, they'll have their powers back. 
So it'll be like a, I won't call it an even fight, but it's like it will be on like level ground. The battle would be. While all of this is happening, she, uh, Ichigo is still in training, and uh, Ichigo, like we saw in the previous episode, that the whole situation here is that Ichigo is trying to go to the gate, but he cannot. That is the situation. If he falls down or stops, he's going to become stone and completely get destroyed. Something like that is going to happen. So he has to keep moving, and he's trying to do that. While moving, something weird happens. He gets some weird visions about someone, and I, for a moment, I actually thought like the visions that he was seeing, I thought that kind of looked like the Spirit King. I'm not exactly sure if that's what's going on, but there was like a few scenes which kind of made me think that it was the Spirit King. I might be wrong though, I'm not exactly sure. Either way, Ichigo Ichigo's getting these type of like visions and everything and he's confused. So yeah, so let's see what happens. And wow, I'm just thinking like Ichigo has been in training for a long time. From the previous season, he has still, he's still in training. So, like, one after the other training he's getting. First, the whole thing with Nimaya, uh, after getting his Asauchi, then, like, you know, getting his Dampakto, talking with the old man Zangetsu and, uh, you know, like, his his hollow self white, you know, getting both the Zampaktos, and now this one. So, like, two to three, like, trainings back to back he's getting. Oh boy, when he's gonna come out, he's gonna come out strong. <laughs> Usually, like, you know, like, anime characters, they have, like, this one training arc and then they fight. Ichigo's getting three training arcs back to back. So he should be, like, like probably after he comes out, he'll probably be, like, facing Yahabaha, like, like completely, like, you know, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's getting three of them back to back. He better be extremely strong. Uh, no, not Yahabaha. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to fight Ishida. That's what's going to happen. But still, he better be strong, like extremely strong after he comes out. But anyways, that is it. That is my reaction to episode 3 of Least Thousand Year Blood War The Separation. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Bleach. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.